Morning everyone. Today is going to be another absolute beautiful day. It's going to be up near 70 and sunshine all day long. So this morning I'll be uh, with Vicki, or Vicki will be with me, whichever way you want to say it. We have nine yards to do this morning together and then I have uh, six outbuildings to take care of this afternoon. And after I'm done with them six outbuildings, I have something to have to go take a look at and I'm going to bring you along with me. I've been waiting a long time to go uh, take a look at this and I've been waiting a long time to purchase something like this. So uh, I'm going to be bringing you along with me. I'll be documenting as much as I can and as much as the uh, person will let me. But um, I'm going to go get the trailer loaded up and let's get started. Uh, the yard we're at right now is uh, there's actually three yards and we never have to move trucks so we do all three of them and I'm just going to get you set up on the one yard here.
that right there might have been a little bit of do not try this at home. But I've been doing this ditch for uh, over a year now. And I haven't slid off the hill or flipped it over yet, so uh, I'm going to keep right on doing it because it's the fastest way for me to do that ditch. Okay, we got that yard done. I got to quit saying okay, but that's how I start everyone. I don't know why, but I just do. Anyhow, those three yards are done, which is really nice because they're all right next to each other. We don't have to move the truck. And, uh, and it takes us about an hour to do them all. So it works really, really well. And uh, we get paid decent for them too. So on to the next yards, which is on the lake. So I don't know if I'll be able to get the video up or not, but I uh, will try. Okay, I dare I get it. I said okay again. I just cannot stop doing that. Anyhow, we just finished our last property on the lake. And you could tell there was ice on that lake until about May. The water, the wind's coming off that lake and it is cold. And uh, now the mayflies just hatched. And now every time we come back here for the next two weeks, we get covered with them things. And they don't hurt you or nothing, they're just annoyances. They land on your glasses and your face and all over everywhere, so it's just annoying. So uh, we're heading back into town now and uh, finish a few of them up there and, and then I'll be dropping Vicky off and heading on. So see you at the next yard. All of my yards are done in town. I dropped Vicky off uh, oh, about two hours ago, I guess it was. And had to finish up uh, three of the yards by myself. They were all three right next to each other. And when I got done, one of my customers brought out uh, bowl of cheesy broccoli soup and yes it is still hot and I tasted it and it is very good so that person is a very good cook and unfortunately it's not lunchtime and if I eat it right now which is 4 30 right now um, and I got a lot of stuff to do there I'll just be hungry here in about an hour so I am not going to eat it and I'm going to swing by my house and I drop this off put it in the fridge and uh, save it for tomorrow so um, every now and then you have some uh, good customers give you some things like that and it just makes your whole day. So now I'm going to go do all of them out buildings which uh, hopefully won't take too long because they shouldn't be all overgrown. I should be able to get them all done in about two and a half to three hours. So on to the next yards. Driving around the countryside listening to classic rock and roll music. Sunny day, 74 degrees out. It's a pretty nice evening. I got one more left to do. And I'm about a, a half hour, 45 minutes to go look at something I've been waiting for to look at for a long time. Actually, not to wait to look at, to possibly purchase. I've been waiting oh, a really long time. It's been uh, 30 years since I had something like this. and. I think the timing's about right and the price is about right. It's a little bit higher than I want to pay, but um, kind of excited about it. I haven't talked much about it through the day, but uh, as it's getting closer and closer, I'm getting more and more excited about it. So um, I'm going to go do one more yard here and then uh, go take a look at that. My yards are all done finally. It's uh, 10 minutes to 7. And for, from where I finished my last outbuilding, I have a five minute drive to go look at what I'm thinking about purchasing. So it's been a, a pretty good week for us. This is the first time we've been ahead, or not ahead, but we've been caught up with all of our lawns at the end of Friday, which it is today. Of course, this video will be up tomorrow because all my videos are day after I cut because I just don't have the time to do them that evening that I'm done so um, so yeah I'm getting pretty excited about this I can't wait to see what I, I've seen pictures of this and and the guy told me he says you got to see it in person because the pictures don't do it justice so I am I'll be there in about five minutes and then we'll go from there so what I'm here is uh, I'm here with Bob at North Vintage Cycles. North Country Vintage Cycles. North, North Country Vintage Cycles. Thanks, Bob. Yep. And this is what I'm looking at. What year is this, Bob? 1981. 1981 CB750K. 
Yeah, just a beautiful looking bike. The pain is just... Go ahead and get one ready to start it. Ready to start her, Bob. Full choke. Full choke. A little, a little cold yet. Oh, you forgot to turn the fuel on. Yep. Awesome, because I've done that many, many times. Oh, does that sound beautiful? That's a cold start. That's that's okay. <laughs> started in the first time. Last time I had it, I put some grips on it. Oh man, is that so nice? Brand new sprockets and chains. Brand new sprockets and chains, and he's not sure if the exhaust is original, but it's the right number of exhaust for the bike. Back in my truck now. Uh, Bob took me for a little ride. It was a little uh, rusty, I guess, or a little shaky at first. And about, I'd say within uh, five minutes, it was back to where I was before. Uh, I didn't have the right kind of helmet. My, I have an old helmet. My shield will start turn, you know, start the plastic start turn yellow. So it wasn't too good a ride and clear. So I had to ride with it. the shield flipped up. But it was a nice running bike. You know, it was uh, um, a little rough running at first because it's been sitting for, I think, four or five years, Bob said, and it cleared up after uh, we got on the main highway, opened it up pretty good. So um, I put a deposit on it. I'm going to pick it up here hopefully next week. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get over there or not, but I'm going to try to. And uh, it was just a little extra thing that I wanted to bring everybody along on. Uh, show you what I was doing is I was, I'm excited about it. I'm real excited about it. To start riding again. I got some buddies that have been after me for the past 10 years to start riding with them again and now I'm going to start riding. So uh, that's going to be it in my video for today. I thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. You can check out the links in the description box below. It would be greatly appreciated. Everybody have a good evening and we will see you at the next year.